Wake up, black people. Good morning from the crystal coast of North Carolina. Um, as we face a rise of anti-intellectualism and revisionist history, I feel like it's time to add to my stories, some true stories from my childhood living in the South. I want you to know what you're up against, guys, when you're up against these racists. I grew up in a decent family church going the whole nine yards. But when I was a child sitting around the table with my elders at my grandfather's house, it was quite frequent there would be stories about racist acts. And the one I'm going to tell you today is the worst thing that I ever heard as a child and it, what estranged me from my family from an early age because of the hideous nature of it. It's called the scalding pot. Once, when I was a child, I was arguing something with my grandfather about civil rights, and he just preempted the conversation, and he told a story that he found quite humorous. It was about his neighborhood in northern Forsyth County, North Carolina, near Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and how there was this black man who had done some malfeasance or crossed some sort of line, and all the people in that neighborhood, it was the Box Mountain neighborhood. If you know Winston-Salem, you know that. They were brought together, and uh, there was a big old hog scalding pot. For those of you who aren't Southern, didn't grow up on a farm, a scalding pot is what you put the pork in, the pig, after it's been slaughtered to scald off the skin and the hair off of the skin so that you can process the meat. It's a pretty grotesque thing. Well, apparently what they did was they took this living black person and they tied him up and they boiled him alive in this pot. And everyone in this little neighborhood, it was a big party, big party. And this was in the early 70s, 1970s, when this story was told to me by my grandfather. I was under 10. His point was, I shouldn't view black people as human. So when you were fighting this new wave of fascism, this racist crap that is coming mainly from the South, but everywhere. It's in the Pacific Northwest, it's up North, it's all over, it's in Europe. Remember that who you were fighting. You were fighting people who see you as less than human. And when you do not believe someone is human, you don't have any qualms about doing things. Know your enemy. We need to get ready for the fight of humanity's life. The soul of our entire species is on the line. I challenge every white person out there who's ever heard a story like Scalding Pot to share. Spread the word. 